McClintock winning that one well in the air. George Graham, a nice little touch off there for Charlie George. And he let that one go! He really does strike those balls beautifully. And now Charlie George to Story. Radford. Armstrong's made a run towards the far side. Armstrong! My goodness, that was close! Armstrong completely undetected. Reluctant to go, but they'll have to go. Smith standing over the ball. Also close at hand, we have Callaghan. And there's Callaghan playing it off for Lindsay, left-footed. Oh, I say it now! Can Laura turn it back? Good way, good work by Wilson. McNabb, and now Radford. All oh, trying to lift that over Smith's head. He lifts it forward to Kennedy. Oh, what a miss! That was some fine work there as uh, Kennedy applauding his fellow striker Radford. McNabb again. Story to leave for this one and beaten though. And Charlie George to belt it. My goodness, he hit that. There's nobody on this field who hits a sweeter ball than Charlie George, but that was wide. But it had tremendous power. Kennedy to Charlie George. Swung towards the left, and there's Kelly and Radford here. Kelly. Radford. And a first-time cross there. Kennedy turning it down. Made that very nicely indeed. Was always leading his defender by half a yard. But it's Radford to take it. To summon up an effort for a long one. George Graham will try and flick it on. My goodness, he almost got in there and flicked away finally with the skipper doing a skipper's job, the number four, Tommy Smith. And now the corner. Oh, and almost, and almost there again by Graham. And Liverpool in terrible trouble until Larry Lloyd finally gets it away from Graham's header. And now Thompson to Hughes, pounding away. Highway over on the far side, covered by McClintock. Highway versus McClintock, and Highway turning it back, and Wilson there, off the foot of Bob McNair. John Howe suffering as well, and Bertie Mee. Lloyd, a not side Bradford, trying to make something of it, and Kennedy, he's all right, he's on side. Oh, just past that post! Tossing up again to see which end they shall play. And we really could have a most dramatic period of extra time now. L Lloyd winning it again. Hughes to Thompson, and away on the left is Highway. Still Highway, dangerous indeed! has made the one big strike. And here it is now, it's the first time he's taken his man on in the game. He's streaked for that line, which he loves doing. Bob Wilson had come too far off his post there, and it was in on the near post. Really, a goalkeeper shouldn't be beaten like that. In fact, we've seen Highway do that before on television. Squeeze it in where the ball shouldn't go. Kennedy. George and Kennedy again. Bradford back over his head. Kelly is right in there, playing much more as a striker in this extra time. And it's there! George Graham! It's George Graham who got the touch and makes it 1-1! Well, it was a kind of muddled goal, this. The ball went up high. John Radford flicks it up and takes a chance. Says, somebody go for that. And Eddie Kelly goes for it, although he's got no chance. 
and as the Liverpool defenders dither, George Graham's there, gets a toe to it, and it dribbles past Clements into the net. And the end of the first period of extra time. 15 minutes to go. Pindock still doing his captain's work. And whether it's in any way significant or not, it seems that Arsenal are much more prepared now to go on with this game. Liverpool hanging back a little bit. A long ball for Kennedy, and Kennedy is onside. But he hadn't quite got the power to get there, and Tommy Smith had a tremendous piece of defence. Smith giving the, the uh, linesman a few words. He thinks that uh, Kennedy was offside. But Mr Q said no, he wasn't. A superb piece of defence by Smith for all that. Lloyd has played well, and Clements, two great heroes in this Liverpool defence, and Smith. But we're going to have Radford, who looks as though he's going to take another long throw. Aiming again towards George Graham. Lawler, in fact, who got ahead to that one. Simpson! Turned it back over his own head. Graham, Radford, Charlie George. Radford. Oh, Charlie George, who can hit him? Oh, a great goal! Charlie George! Oh, what a fabulous goal by George! chance with that and that puts Arsenal into the lead what a marvellous goal there from Charlie George absolutely superb a good ball there from John Radford he sees his moment and then whack look how far it is from the post inches fantastic goal and now we have the side of Arsenal players the ground, Graham was down, Rice was down, they're on their feet again and the Arsenal crowd are absolutely delirious because Arsenal now are less than ten minutes away from doing the double. They come from North London. And it's all over and Arsenal have won and they've done the double. Frank McClintock his losing streak at Wembley is over. Four times here a loser, and now a brave and brilliant winner. Liverpool players lying exhausted on the turf, shattered after going up, and then falling behind. So Arsenal, what a week. On Monday, they clinch the league championship, and five days later, they complete the double. No wonder he's smiling. A word for Chris Lawler. Even the cop are paying tribute, I fancy, to their own brave heroes and to the Arsenal as well, because that's the sort of fair-minded crowd that come from Liverpool. Well done, the cop. A magnificent double, says the scoreboard for the Arsenal. Hard luck, Liverpool, and nobody would argue.